Thanks to Tempo for sponsoring this video. What's up, Brian Tong here, and you know, I live a pretty active lifestyle and I'm into all the different tech fitness products and programs that are out there. Tempo just released an all new update that changed the way that you will work out using real-time feedback of your biometrics and data and adjust your workouts on the fly. Nothing has been done like this before, so I'm gonna show you how it all works. I've owned a Tempo studio, and this is for about, what, a couple years now, and if you aren't familiar with it, this is a home gym with a connected personal training that's presented on this screen, and it has a built-in camera system that tracks your reps and your form so it can tell you to correct it during the workout, and I ended up buying every accessory and every piece of equipment for it during the pandemic because it's that good. Like, I love its design. So naturally, I just find a workout, you know, you scroll around, you try and find something that you like for the day. And I might work out maybe once or twice a week. And it depends, you know, how I'm doing, which is better than nothing because I'm just so busy. So I thought, that's all I really need. But then Tempo, they reached out to me with their all new experience that is approaching fitness in a whole new way. I know it sounds like everyone says this, but they're doing this by adjusting and adapting your workout in real time. It's based on how your body is responding that day using biometrics that it's collecting from the Apple Watch while you're working out. And it also works with Garmin and Whoop. It's then taking all that information and the data that they have from millions of workouts and then using AI to give you the optimal workout based on goals that you set for yourself in the beginning. So it's adaptable training, to give you real results in real time. And I've been using this for two weeks plus now and it's really impressive. So my tempo, it feels like a living thing now and there's no other product doing it like this. So I'm gonna dig into how this new tempo experience works. And I showed you the studio earlier. Well, this right next to me, this here is the tempo move that I'm using now in this smaller room as well. It's a sleeker version of their system that holds the entire weights Inside here, it's a lot more compact design and you can really put it almost anywhere. It takes up just over one square foot of space and it opens from either side, depending on how you wanna access it. And it has just a great modern design. So all you have to do is just dock your iPhone here at the top and then you launch the Tempo app from your phone. It uses your iPhone's camera to track your body for counting reps or making any form corrections when you're lifting. And you just have to connect it to the HMI port and a USB port to the back of your TV, or you can stream the workouts over AirPlay to your TV that you already own. So this whole system, it starts at $395. There's also um, a way that you can move up to the Tempo Move Pro bundle, and that includes 10 pound plates, 25 pound plates, and a barbell and a mat. So there's also a Tempo membership plan that is $39 a month, or you can prepay up to two years, and that equals out to $30 a month. Another piece of this puzzle, to me, you'll really need the Apple Watch here or other fitness devices to get the full experience using Tempo's new system. Now, I won't take too long here, but when you get started, you're gonna first pick a plan to set all your goals, and I'm gonna choose to get as strong as I can, or you can get strong and aim for more definition. It's your choice. They offer different plans targeting specific muscle groups, but I went with building a powerful chest. Oh, yeah, right? It recommends two plus days per week and shows the muscle areas that it's targeting and we now have our objective for a four week plan. Next, you can actually do a body composition scan to help track and see your changes. This is currently in beta, but it asks for your weight. So first thing in the morning, before I eat anything, I got my weight and that's the measurement without my phone in hand. I just recorded the video of my weight after it had been measured because I know one of you or some of you out there is gonna question it like, how is that your accurate weight with your phone? Trust me, I got it. So once I have my weight, I can go through the setup to do my scan. I'll first get set up in this starting pose. You keep your arms out a little bit. And then once you're once it gives you the okay, you can actually rotate around in a circle to do a full body scan. It takes about five to seven minutes to process. This is all done from your iPhone, but it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Then I'll get a 3D scan that shows me my results for my fat mass, lean mass, and more that we can compare later on. Okay, now that's all done. Everything that you do is ready to roll. So every time you open the Tempo app, the first thing that it's gonna do is it will give you a readiness score that measures how your body is doing. So that's by taking your sleep, 
your heart rate variability, your resting heart rate, and muscle recovery from previous workouts to give you a score. Some days, the readiness score will be higher than others, and based on that, it will suggest different workouts that may or may not be as rigorous. And look, we aren't always at 100, um, but this was the first sign to me that this new experience and system from Tempo is really paying attention to my body before and after workouts. So since I set the chest as my focus, right? Uh, the first workout establishes the max weight that you can lift for eight reps. That's always gonna be, it's gonna kind of set a benchmark for you. And then by the end of the one month program, if you follow it, the goal is that you can lift a final target weight at eight reps that's heavier than you did before. So the more practice, right? The more muscle you build up, it's, you're gonna, you should get there if you follow the plan. So you get started by loading up your weight for the first exercise and you listen to their instructions and boom, you are working out, right? Your iPhone camera is constantly measuring your reps and setting new goals along the way. If you've hit a personal record with different exercises, it even incorporates the Apple Watch where after the first set of your new exercise, it asks you how many more reps you could have done by hitting one of the options on the watch face. From there, if the weight is too light, which it always is for me, uh, it tells you to add more weight or if you're getting lower reps, it tells you to take some weight off so you can hit what's intended for each of the exercises. So this thing is constantly learning from the reps it measures and the personal feedback that you give it. And then it remembers what you're capable of for the next time. So this is a constantly evolving thing. And I know I'm showing you a lot of workout clips from different days because I really put this to the test. And what I can tell you is that this feels like a living, breathing, and organic workout plan every step of the way. And at the end of the workout, they'll give you a screenshot of your results and the areas that you worked out and also your overall class stats. Now you can give them feedback as well with comments after the workout. And one day, you know, I was just gassed. I looked at my readiness meter score afterwards and it was at a freaking 42, right? This is the lowest that I've ever seen. And you can dive in to get more information and you see from this score, which muscle groups are just totally donezo, which are primed and ready to go if you wanna do another workout. And it takes a lot for my heart rate to get up really high when I'm just lifting weights. But if you're going hard, Temp will also give you a little rest time and recovery to get your heart rate back to zone three if it senses that you're gonna to be too fatigued to do the next exercise properly. There was even a day where I pushed maybe harder than I should have and I felt the next morning, like a little twinge in my leg the next morning. It wasn't comfortable, but it was sore. And now I'm not saying that the tempo knew that, but on the next day, it might've been around day 10 or day 11. And I had been doing, you know, all these weight related workouts up to that point. That day was the first day that tempo suggested a stretching recovery workout as the workout for the day. And I was pretty surprised because it's as if it knew that we were pushing really hard initially that first week and a half and it was time to ease up a little bit. And it does balance the workouts between upper body, legs, and even high intensity workouts that are just your body weight. But I don't know, it just, it felt like it knew my body. So you can also change the class instead of going with the first one that Tempo suggests. And then when you change it, that will obviously then change what other future classes are offered. And I've done some of these weekly plan programs from many workout platforms before, and they are structured and you just do them and then you move on. But this is absolutely something different. It feels like Tempo put a new brain in their entire platform with this new experience and it makes the workouts more engaging because it is constantly adjusting to you in real time with your feedback. So. Each of these programs, they are set to four weeks to make real progress, and you can also change them midway if you just wanna do something different. But let's look at here, what results have I seen in this over two weeks or so? So let's go to the body composition scan, and I did it two weeks later, just for comparison. And again, I weighed myself first thing in the morning. I didn't change my diet at all because honestly, I eat pretty healthy, but I also treat myself and it showed my weight at 144 pounds and four tenths. So I did a whole new scan and there's a lot to look at the differences from the fat mass, 
to the lean mass when I started and where I'm at, what, just a little over two weeks after and about three pounds lighter. 3.1 to be exact for you. But, you know, changes don't happen instantly for most people, but my body typically reacts pretty fast when I start committing to working out. Um, I know the body composition scan is still in beta and I did find the comparison differences between the circumferences of my arms and legs from the first scan to the new scan to be pretty significantly different. I mean, I made sure to wear the same exact clothes and the data says that I have a slimmer waist and a slimmer chest. I mean, I like to use the word streamlined or ripped, uh, but also losing about half an inch of circumference in my arms, losing over an inch in my quads, and then inconsistent changes in my calves. Like, did my right calf really grow 1.2 inches in circumference? I don't think so. And I know there's a science to this where your body fat is going to be distributed differently depending on the area of your body where it's stored. So maybe, maybe an expert out there might be saying, this actually makes sense, Brian, with what you're doing. But next time, I'm just gonna do the scan in my, <laughs> in my underwear, which is how I measured my weight, just to get as accurate as possible, right? Forget all the baggy clothes. But you at home, you do not deserve to see that. But looking at the big stat comparisons show that I lost body fat and a little lean mass and I have lower body fat percentage while getting stronger. And I think that's a win-win. Like I expect more changes to happen as I finish out this plan for the month because I can't remember the last time that I've worked out 13 out of 16 days. That's a lot. I mean, typically it's like really one or two, but it has been years since that happened, but the new tempo experience and then their adaptable training plans, these are special. Like it's something that I think a lot of other platforms are going to want to emulate because it's really good and it feels alive. And now, come on, I wasn't gonna leave you empty handed here. So if you wanna give Tempo a try, you can take advantage of my promo code, Brian20, to get 20% off any Tempo hardware bundle. And then just go to tempo.fit slash move and use the code, Brian20. I'll be posting more about my progress on my social media, but Tempo was already awesome a couple of years ago. I have and own the studio and it's always been at the top of my list for fitness devices. And now Tempo is easily the smartest and the most organic and adaptable fitness platform that's out there today. All right, enough of me talking. Let's go get swole. Woo!